Hello everyone! Oh my goodness, this is a bit of a surprise, isn't it? I'm doing a third Pikmin video. H how is this possible? What more could there be to discuss? Well, I found something. Something very interesting, in fact. It was a theory someone posted on Game FAQs from back, way back in like 2005, uh, soon after Pikmin 2 came out. But it was a very interesting theory that I wanted to discuss and see what you all thought of it. So, it's about the Pikmin themselves. So let's let's take a break from the uh, supernatural stuff, the stuff involving the evil water spirit Umibozu for a second, and just examine our little friendly killers themselves, the Pikmin. What's up with the Pikmin? And what I mean by that is, like, let's take a real long hard look at them. Olimar says that they look similar to Pick Pick Carrots. And as you know, Pick Pick Carrots are a type of food that, um, that they grow on Hokitate. And he named the Pikmin Pikmin because they look like Pick Pick Carrots. That's the whole reason they got that name, because of that resemblance. Now, why would they look like Pick Pick Carrots? Sure, it could be a coincidence, maybe. Or maybe there's something more going on. As you know, Olimar also stated that they are a little bit smaller than uh, the average size for hookitations. So, when you piece two and two together, they look like Pick Pick Carrots, they're close to the size of hookitations. Now let's focus on a third point here. Why do they follow Olimar around? Why do they follow his lead? Why do they throw away their lives recklessly to help this guy? I mean, just why? Why do they do it? Some fans have thought of reasons why, like maybe they view Olimar as a Pikmin or something, or maybe they just the, maybe it's just the way the Pikmin work and they need some kind of leader to help them figure out what to do. But no, this theory is actually making me think, like, really think about this. So, uh, let's review the three key points here. They look like Pick Pick Carrots. They are almost the size of Hokitations, a bit smaller. Um, as we know, I mean, we always see them next to Olimar or Louie, whichever. And the third point, why do they follow him recklessly and throw away their lives for one guy? Well, the theory states that the Pikmin are not from PNF 404. And you're probably going, are you crazy? Of course they're from PNF 404. That's where you find them. That's where they, that's where they live. That's their environment. But maybe it's not. Maybe they did not originate from PNF 404. Maybe they don't live on the Pikmin planet. That's just where they were put. The theory is basically saying maybe they were made on Hokitate. Yeah. So, I mean, let's 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 really analyze this. They are similar to certain aspects of Hokitate. And we already we already discussed those points. Uh, they look like pick pick carrots. They are close to the size of hookitations. So yes, those two points could connect them to um, being made on hookitate. But what about the whole following Olimar around thing and uh, risking their lives for him? Yeah. Well, if they were made on hookitate, then we can assume or reasonably assume that they were made by some sort of hokitation um, with some kind of motive behind making them. We can assume that this hokitation, this theoretical hokitation that we're talking about, he genetically modified pick pick carrots and thus made the Pikmin. And what would his motive be for doing this exactly? Well, it could be two things. Um, it could be just for general labor. Maybe he made the Pikmin to make work easier, since we know they're so good at working. Or maybe there's something more sinister going on. Maybe he made the Pikmin as weapons 
or she, whoever this occasion is that we're talking about, maybe they made the Pikmin as weapons for a really sinister plan, like maybe to dominate the planet, rule it, or uh, conquer other worlds even. It makes you wonder how this all came to be. And there's actually a fourth aspect to this theory um, that it kind of adds to it. It's about the onions themselves and how they don't look like naturally occurring things. They look a bit more man-made, more mechanical. Like the onions in the first two games have wooden legs popping out of them. Like, where did those come from? Who made those? And it just makes you wonder. Now, this is assuming that they are wooden legs popping out of them and not something else. But they do look wooden. So, it's just a guess. But anyways, that's beside the point. Let's get back to the theory at hand here. So, let's say that this hookation genetically modified pick pick carrots, made the Pikmin, and let's go down the route of them... Well, I mean, this could apply to both uh, routes for this theory. It could apply to them being uh, used for labor or being used to conquer things or rule planets. Either way... Let's assume that this Hokitation space traveled to PNF 404. I mean, Olimar can't be the only Hokitation who works in the space travel business. I'm sure there's someone else who was able to do it somehow. Now, whether this Hokitation was actually in the business of space travel, or he or she just stole a spaceship and flew to planet PNF 404, whichever way, uh, let's say that this Hokitation flew to planet PNF-404 with the Pikmin on the ship, or how, I don't know if he just made one Pikmin and brought it to the planet, or made multiple Pikmin and brought it to the planet, but let's say that he brought it to the planet, and he brought the Pikmin out, and he started gathering things with the Pikmin, gathering uh, pellets from pellet posies, killing enemies, and uh, harvesting their corpses in the onions. Um, we're going off the theory here that this Hokitation made the onions as well. Um, and if he did make the onions, he probably brought it in his ship with him. Uh, or maybe, well no, it, it wouldn't have flown beside him, but it probably would have been in, in the ship with the Pikmin. So he brought those two things to PNF 404, got them out of the ship, had the Pikmin collect things and harvest things to build their population. And we can safely say that uh, if this guy or if this girl had ulterior motives uh, behind making the Pikmin, whether it was for labor or whether it was for bad things, um, he was trying to build their population to further these goals, whatever the goals were. But something happened. He was maybe out on patrol or something with an army of Pikmin of many different colors. Well, uh, we can assume the colors that we find over the course of the games, but that's besides the point. He was out on an expedition with all of his Pikmin, and he finds a creature, a really deadly creature, and it kills him, and it kills all of his Pikmin. As we know, if all of a certain color group of Pikmin die, uh, the onion has a little self-defense mechanism that we can assume the a uh, hookation built inside of them. They release a seed of that Pikmin if all of the Pikmin of that color die. That way you never truly run out of them and Olimar can start rebuilding their population from one Pikmin if the rest of them go extinct. So let's assume that this happened. Let's assume that the creature killed him, all of his Pikmin, and the onions went dormant, waiting for someone to find them again. And that's where Olimar comes in. However many years pass, Olimar flies to the planet, and he finds these onions. And we know that in the first game, all of the onions you find are just dormant. And when you touch them, they release a single seed. So basically, the Pikmin were extinct before uh, Olimar found them. So it all connects, you know? Like... The Hokitation died, the creature killed him, and it killed all of his Pikmin. And the Youngins did exactly what they do in-game when you run out of a certain color of Pikmin. 
they sprouted one seed and you started building their population all over again. So unbeknownst to Ulamar, they were created by someone from his own race. That's very interesting. That's it's very weird too. <laughs> but if you want to add to the theory more, that is why the Pikmin follow Olimar's command and do whatever he says, why they risk their lives for him. And it's why, by extent, they do that for Louis and the president. It's because they're Hokitations, and they were made by a Hokitation, so they view them as their creators, and they follow whatever they tell them to do. It all makes sense. Um, the original theory I found actually stated that uh, the Pikmin and the Onions were made by Hokitation, and he was going to use them to conquer uh, other worlds or Hokitate itself, and I myself actually added the part to this theory where he goes to the planet and dies there, because it makes sense. That's why you find the onions the way they are in Pikmin 1. So it's definitely something to think about, guys. Um, but if there's something I'm not thinking of, or if there's a flaw in this theory, feel free to point it out in the comments. So what about the uh, white and purple Pikmin? I think the Hokitation made the candy pop buds to change the Pikmin's colors and their properties, but he never got around to doing it. So Olimar was actually the first one to make use of that, because the way you find the purple and white candy pop buds in Pikmin 2, there are no purple and white Pikmin outside of them, you just find the candy pop buds waiting for someone to use them. So that's it guys, that's the theory. I just found it and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. So discuss it in the comments, tell me if there's something wrong with it, tell me if there's something I missed, all that good stuff. I don't know if I will do another Pikmin video down the line, depends if I find another interesting theory on the internet or if I think of one myself, but for now I've discussed all I've wanted to discuss involving the Pikmin series. So thanks for watching guys, I hope it made you guys think about how dark Pikmin can be and how it's actually a really deep series if we take the time to really analyze it. I don't know what my next video will be, it might be Killer7 Part 2 or it might be a completely different game, I guess we'll see. But anyways, like, subscribe, or go about your business and I will see you all in the next video.